Pitsy. You give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. You're listening to News Radio in Pittsburgh on 1410 KQV. Good morning, I'm Cliff Gorski, and among the stories we're covering for you in the KQV News Center, a pair of shootings around the region this morning, a manhunt will continue in Butler County for a man accused of shooting his wife. The Environmental Protection Agency hopes to have a thorough lab analysis of the contaminants as early as today after wastewater from a long-abandoned Colorado mine began leaking into a river. A falling tree kills a crew member fighting a wildfire in California, U.S. Forest Service says. The incident occurred in a remote area between Lake Tahoe and El Dorado National Forest. Authorities say the driver of a vehicle that caused a two-car crash that critically injured seven people in Hollywood still at large after fleeing the scene. L.A. Fire Department says the victims include a one-month-old boy, a two-year-old boy, a 16-year-old girl, and three adults ranging in age from 19 to 50, and one adult whose age is unknown. Washington County toddler who suffered a near drowning last weekend pronounced dead, two-year-old Dean Gilliam of Cannonsburg, suffered serious injuries when he fell into an above-ground pool in his backyard on July the 30th. He was pronounced dead yesterday. If you grew up or spent time in Brookline, you no doubt know George Gilfoyle, brother George as he is known, a fixture on the streets of the community, given the job by firefighters to check alarm boxes and report back his findings. This weekend, the community honored the icon with a plaque on the Brookline Fire Station. It was the idea of graphic designer Doug Brendel who raised funds for the plaque with collection jars and through social media. This is the first time that the city of Pittsburgh ever approved a plaque to be placed on or in city property of a living person. I feel that's a great tribute to George alone, that this is unprecedented in the city of Pittsburgh. He says the 70-year-old George is pleased with the notoriety, but he wished his mother, who recently passed away, could have witnessed the event. We will update the KQV Trib Total Media Listener Poll, Traffic and Weather Together, next. KQV News Time is 826. This is Shaquille O'Neal. And the Shaquettes. Reminding you that any time. Any time. Is a good time. Good time. For the cooling, drying, fresh scent of Gold Bond Powder Spray. Like after the gym. Or a crowded elevator ride. Or golf. Or working with farm animals. Or a hard day's work. 